What's up everyone, Danny Lightning back with another CSR2 video. Today we are checking out the Tier 4 4 Star Corvette Stingray Z06. We're going to do a Stage 6 maxed out shift and tune, a Stage 5 shift and tune. We're going to find out if the car is any good. We'll do a review on it and see if there's any type of good live racing setup. I will tell you this, it does beat Dino by quite a bit when it's maxed out. So it's got one thing going for it already, but let's get into that Stage 6 maxed out shift and tune. Then we'll move on to the other stuff. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel and watch the entire video to get a bunch of good info on the car. And final drive, 3.49. Nitrous, all the way to the right. Tire pressure, 8 PSI. Wait a second, wait a second. Somehow my tire pressure's off. There we go, now we got it. We got a 13.361 on the dyno, so that's pretty cool. You're going to notice this thing beats dyno by a lot. You got to time the launch and the shifts and everything just right on this car and it'll run about a 12.0, but we want to let go of the gas right around number one shortly after sh hit your nitrous and then shift into second. All the shifts should be like perfect or in the orange. So let's give this one a go. Three, two, one, go. Nitrous second, third, fourth, fifth six and we don't have to shift in the seventh we're just going to go ahead and look mom no hands and let it run out into seventh gear and we should have run about a 12.0 then we got a 12.174 to four. but if you get the launch just perfect and the shifts just right it will run in the 12 zeros but you guys get the idea all right let's fit it back to stage five parts and do a stage five only shift in tune and this does have all the fusions and all the stage five parts and thank you to Nitro for CSR for letting me use your account. I don't have this maxed out on my account yet, so I'm using his. You can find a link to his channel in this video's description. <laughs> all right, so let's go ahead and get into the tune, right? On stage five only, nitrous all the way to the right. Final drive, 4.18. Tire pressure at 12 PSI. And that gives us a 13.859 on the dyno. And we got, what, 500 EVO points. The EVO points on this car are terrible. All right, we're pretty much going to drive it about the same way. And right now, I'm just going to say it's not running great on stage five. Three, two, one, go. Nitrous second, third. And it's not really beating Dino by much so far on stage five. I've tried several different shift patterns. And I don't know. I guess we got the look mom, no hands again. But uh, yeah, just kind of uh there's some problems here there's definitely some problems here there we got a 13.9 with the dyno of a 13.8 but let me show you a little secret if you need the car to beat dyno on stage five you're going to move the transmission slider over a few clicks and then all of a sudden you're going to see this giant evo drop at some point and it's going to hit into the negatives. So let's go ahead and try with 3.41. That gives us a dyno of a 15.5. So let's go ahead and do a test run. So if you do need to beat the supply cups and stuff like that with this car, right? Supply cups only care about whether the car beats dyno or not. Three, two, one, go. And let's go ahead and do it like that, and this should destroy the dyno. So if you're on stage 5 only and you need to beat the supply cups for the prestige cup, then hey, this is the way to tune it for that. This will make the car beat dyno. It doesn't have any EVO points. There we got a 13.9 with what, a 15.5 uh, on the dyno? So yeah, that will make it beat the dyno big time. But... Yeah, we're at negative 300 EVO points. It's not going to do any good for live racing so far. Because with the low EVO points, it's not going to earn any respect points. You may be able to win some live races, but it won't earn the respect points. So let me see if I can find an actual live racing setup where it will win and get good EVO. There is definitely not a live racing setup, but let's see if this can beat Tempest 3 Tier 4. All right. Three, two, one, go. Can we do zero to 60 in around 1.3 or faster? That is the question. We did zero to 60 in 0 0.668, so it's definitely got the acceleration. Next question, can we hit over 260 miles per hour? Let's find out. 
All right, we got one something, 130, 140, 50, 60, 70, 80. Come on, go, 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 go. And so far we got very low top speed. Oof. All right, so it can definitely run faster with the boss when it's 100% maxed out. It's got the acceleration, no problem, but it cannot hit the top speed required for some of the races. So you will have to switch cars if you try to use this for Tempest 3 Tier 4. I probably wouldn't use this for Tempest 2 either, to tell you the truth. Alright, so it's time for a very honest review on this car. This car has two things going for it. Exceptional acceleration. If you need a car for good acceleration, this thing is awesome. If you need a car that beats the dyno time by a lot, this thing is awesome. If you need a car that does anything else, not so much. So bottom line is it's really good at a few things, but when it comes to the overall big picture, not a great car. Not a great car. So maxed out, you know, top speed is around 200-ish miles per hour, maybe a little more. Zero to 60 in less than one second, zero to 100 in right around two seconds. So I don't know. There's a few people who may enjoy this car. You might be able to win a few live races with it if you can get it to beat the dyno time, but the Evo points are so low, it's not going to earn any respect points. So the car is really not going to be worth live racing at all, in my opinion. So I'm going to give this car a rating of not that great. At some things, it's a turd taco. At other things, it does okay. But overall, eh, not super impressed. All right, I think that wraps this one up. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I try to make videos to help you guys out. So help me out. Hit that like, hit that subscribe, click that little bell and set the notifications to all. That way you don't miss any good uploads. If you want to get some cool Danny Lightning merch, there's a link to the merch store down there in the video's description, plus some other ways to support the channel. You can show your support with the thank you button or the join button that's right down there below the video to join or become a you know monthly channel member or donate or whatever. There's a PayPal link. All kinds of good stuff. There's game info, game news, whatever you need to know. There's some stuff down there in the description as well for stuff like that. And yeah, I think that's going to wrap this video up. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Sorry it's not a great car, but have an awesome day. Lightning out. See ya.